Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this March 16th. Back in the saddle again here after a couple of days of uh, really nice spring weather. Yesterday was just absolutely gorgeous. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures finally cracking the 70 degree mark. I think we're on our way, although once you hear some of the temperatures coming up in the seven-day forecast, it's not going to get cold, but it will be getting cooler a few times. You know, we still have a couple of those little winters to go through. You know, there's, uh, what, blackberry, there's uh, linen britches, winter, you know, those. I'm not sure which one we're we're at or will be uh, going through here. In the next couple of days, I used to keep up with that stuff, but I mean, I get asked every once in a while. I'm not really sure because once I, I post something or say something, hey, we're going through Blackberry winter, then somebody will dispute that, of course. No one can agree on anything anymore. And somebody will start an argument. No, we're not in Blackberry winter. We're in Linen Bridges winter or we're in some other stupid winter. But anyway, aside from that, very spring-like temperatures going on right now for at least another day or so, and then we'll see some cool downs coming over the course of the next seven days, and a little bit of a rain chance in there as well. Yesterday's high, 71 degrees at the airport in Bowling Green. 60 is the average. That's an 11-degree difference, and it sure felt good. 41 was our low temperature, 37 the average. That's a 4-degree difference. A year ago, we had a high of 68 and a low of 35. Back in 2014, no rainfall past 24 hours. We're holding at 5.76 inches for the month of March. That puts us ahead by almost three and three-quarter inches. That's all that heavy rain and snow we've had uh, so far. Well, uh, for today, mostly sunny, high pressure and control, some Mid to high level clouds is kind of streaming through the area, but a very almost summer-like day with a high of 78 this afternoon. Southwest wind at 9. That'll feel nice. Get out and enjoy that. Tonight, mainly clear, mild, overnight lows around 53. For Tuesday, the first of those uh, little disturbances starts to work in here. We'll see a few more clouds on Tuesday, but it should be mainly rain-free. There may be a few sprinkles or light rain showers out east of us, but we're going to keep the Bowling Green area mainly dry for Tuesday with a slightly cooler 67 for St. Patty's Day, which is tomorrow. That's no blarney. I'm not Irish. Well, I think I have a little bit of Irish blood in me. I'm not sure. My grandpa McMurtry. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, On Wednesday... Uh, We're going to see mainly a chance of rain by Wednesday evening after an increase in clouds, slightly cooler, 55. So we go from mid to upper 70s to mid 60s on Tuesday to mid 50s on Wednesday. The rain comes in in earnest on Wednesday night. Rain all day Thursday with a high of 55. Spring officially begins. We call it the vernal equinox. That is the uh, technical term for spring begins. That's on Friday. We'll see a slight chance of an early morning shower, and then skies will clear. We'll see a high of 57. Spring officially begins, by the way, at 5.45 p.m. Central Time, Friday evening. Saturday, mostly sunny, around 60, but by Sunday there are signs that we could be getting another shot of cooler air. We won't say cold air, but cooler air, slightly below average. Average is 60. We're calling for a high of 51 by Sunday. By the way, a big event this weekend that we want you to be a part of, if you're interested at all in weather, whether it be you, whether it be your kids, someone in your family that you know is a weather enthusiast, we want want to invite you. I want to personally invite you to come out what to what we're calling Ken 10 15. Ken 10 is uh, just putting the words Kentucky and Tennessee together. Ken 10 15. It is called a weather ready forum. And well, we uh, all it's designed for you is to to be weather ready, more weather prepared than ever before. 
And as you've seen already this past winter with all the snows and the ice and the rain and everything else, uh, it's we have no idea really how this spring is going to be. I mean, the weather patterns are looking a little more active this season. So as we begin to warm up, then severe storms, flooding, and tornadoes certainly will become more common. We want you to be weather prepared. So the Ken, Ken 10 15 Weather Ready Forum is going to take place this Saturday at the National Corvette Museum in the Chevrolet Theater from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, there is a small admission charge. It's a registration fee, and that's to cover the cost of doing this at the wonderful National Corvette Museum. If you've never been out there, here's your opportunity to come out, learn a little bit about weather throughout the day. We will provide you lunch for your registration fee. You will be provided a lunch from the Corvette Cafe. And there's some other things going on out there. In fact, for a little bit more, uh, you can go through and tour the Corvette Museum. And there's going to be a special science display out there. Uh, if you're into meteors and cosmic things, asteroids, they've got a, a really neat science uh, display, a demonstration that's going to be out there. That's all part of the big deal. But we need you to go online to register, and you only have a few days to register for that. So I'm going to uh, put the link on my Facebook and Twitter pages, or you can go to um, the Louisville National Weather Service site. Uh, just uh, look that up, and you'll see a page or a link there to Ken1015. And uh, that is how you get registered. So it's a long URL link. It would take me all morning just to read it out to you here. But just uh, hit up my Facebook pages, or you can go to the Louisville National Weather Service website, and you can go there and see a link to Ken1015, okay, and get registered as soon as possible because seating is limited. But we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a lot of demonstrations, a lot of weather experts from the National Weather Service, Kentucky Emergency Management, and me, Shane, and Stephanie will also be there uh, helping provide uh, some of the facilities and uh, some of the talks. And we're going to do a weather panel uh, question and answer session toward the end. So we want you to be a part of it. Even if your kids are interested in weather, bring them to and uh, it's going to be a special day this Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the National Corvette Museum. All right, guys, have a great day. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 530 coming up on AM Kentucky.